One Nation leader Pauline Hanson says she has not extracted any concessions from the coalition in return for her support for its income tax cut plan. The $144 billion package is set to pass Parliament today after the government secured the support of the Senate crossbench. Political reporter Lucy Barber joins us now from Parliament House in Canberra. Lucy, good morning. So will this definitely pass today? And just take us through what the elements of this actually are. It's looking very likely that this will pass the Senate, Joe, now that One Nation is on board. The government still needs one more vote on the Senate crossbench and it's expected that that will come from the Centre Alliance party. That's the former Nick Xenophon team. The Centre Alliance don't necessarily support this entire plan, but they say they're not willing to forsake tax cuts for low to middle income earners, so they would support the plan in full if that's what it has to come to. As far as what this plan includes, there are three three stages, one, two and three. Stage one is tax relief for low to middle income earners. So from July next year, a tax offset for low to middle income earners of up to $530. Stages two and three will see the government flatten out the tax bracket so that the 37 tax bracket will eventually be abolished and most Australians will end up paying 32.5 cents in the dollar instead. Labor has consistently argued that that is is not necessarily fair if someone earning up to $200,000 a year is paying the same tax as someone earning $41,000. But Pauline Hanson argues this plan is fair and that, she says, and she said just this morning outside Parliament, is why she's backing it. The deal with the whole tax package was about, you know, the people of Australia, um, they're going to get... Uh, a, they're going to get the benefit out of this with the tax cut, which they dearly need, and I can understand that. I've put before the government again about my 1,000 apprenticeship scheme, and um, I'm hoping they're actually going to take it up. So I'll be pleased if I, if I can get that. After the debacle with uh, Senator Brian Burston, I've uh, you know sat down and spoke with Peter Giorgio. We've had meetings with the Labor Party and uh, over the whole tax thing. It was a real concern with me with stage three and about the, the black hole and paying down debt. But after true, you know, strong consideration with it, I've actually now decided you know, to support the government in their tax cuts, which, which the Australian people need. Pauline Hanson there speaking this morning. So, Lucy, we'll be looking out for this when it comes up in federal parliament today. Uh, is there any, I know it's pretty difficult, but any rough indication on when this might come up? Is there going to be a vote on the proposal to split the bills in the House of Reps this morning and then it'll go back to the Senate, or how will it work today? Yes, that's roughly how it will work, Joe, and we can expect that amended bill, which passed the Senate last night, to be quashed in the House of Reps because the government, of course, has the numbers there to do that. It'll then introduce the bill in its entirety, so that three-stage tax plan to the Senate, where at some point today it is likely to pass. Yeah. And what's happening uh, with energy policy? A bit of movement on that today as well. That's right. This is in relation to the National Energy Guarantee. Now, that is the government's plan to not only reduce carbon emissions, but also guarantee power reliability for all Australians. There is some concern in the coalition about this policy approach, and some national Nationals are making their concerns a bit clearer today. They're calling uh, for the government to cap the wholesale price of power. Now, that would be quite a significant intervention in the market, of course, and some Liberals would balk at that idea. Uh, they're also, though, Joe, telling us privately, and uh, we're hearing them saying that they're unhappy with the former Prime Minister Tony Abbott's interventions on this issue. Now, Tony Abbott has quite consistently criticised the government and in particular Malcolm Turnbull's approach to fixing power prices and bringing power prices down and in a sense this entire national energy guarantee. These nationals say they agree with Tony Abbott on his approach to energy and building more coal-fired power stations and all that sort of thing but they are worried that his constant interventions are becoming a distraction from the main game debate which is how this country can go about reducing power prices. They're concerned that every time he pipes up and makes a headline on energy, it's seen through the leadership tussle prism and it comes back to a debate about him attacking Malcolm Turnbull and they're not happy about that. So, ructions in the coalition over energy continue. OK, Lucy Barber reporting there from Canberra.